Hello and welcome to the online ministry of New Westminster Christian Reformed Church. We hope that today's message will be a word of encouragement for you from our Lord Jesus Christ. If you would like to contact our church or our pastors, please visit our website at nwcrc.ca. May God bless you. From, uh, there you go. Uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter 10. We're going to be reading uh, first 12 verses. Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, uh, starting in verse 1. Uh, 한국 어, 성경은 여기 보시면서 따라가시면 되겠습니다. 그래서 제가 다시 한국 성경을 읽지는 않겠습니다. Uh, the Korean is will follow uh, on the screen, so I won't be reading again in Korean. But uh, here's uh, God's word uh, for us this morning. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go. He told them, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Go, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Do not take a purse or a bag or sandals, and do not greet anyone on the road. When you enter a house, first say, Peace to this, to this house. If a man of peace is there, your peace will rest on him. If not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the worker deserves his wages. Do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are welcomed, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them, the kingdom of God is near you. But when you enter a town and are not welcomed, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that sticks to our feet we wipe off against you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. This is God's word to us this morning. Thanks be to God. You know, as we were singing that song, um, vision. Yes, you're going to change. Is it? Yeah. Is it better? Thank you. We were singing uh, that song, The Vision, or Vision, uh, in Korean, and that's a very popular Korean uh, praise song, worship song. Um, and throughout the service, I, I was thinking, you know, when we are in front of the throne of God that day, I understand that uh, Pastor Andrew preached a sermon uh, out of Revelation 7 last week. Uh, you know, there will be all nations, right? And how long the service is going to take? <laughs> But uh, whatever language that God will choose, we know that it's going to be Korean. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. No. Uh, whatever language that God's going to uh, you know, choose, uh, everyone will understand. Like the day of the Pentecost. I was just imagining. You know, they were praying in all these languages, but they were all understanding. Uh, and that's the day that we, we, we should look forward to. I so look forward to. I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, what that's going to look like, but uh, what a what a joyous day uh, to uh, celebrate what God is doing uh, in our denomination, in your congregation, and definitely in uh, my beloved church. Um, 그 천국의 마지막에 예수님이 우리가 천국 다 가서 예배 드릴 때 아마 이렇게 길지 않을 거예요. 왜냐면 <웃음> 그렇죠? 예수님이 무슨 언어로 하, 말씀하시든 우리가 다 한꺼번에 알아들을 수 있을 테니까요. 그죠? 어, 우리 그 사도행전 2장에 보면 오순절에 예? 다 다른 언어로 어, 말했는데 다 알아들었잖아요. 어, 그런 것처럼 어, 정말 그 날이 기대가 됩니다. 어, 오늘 나의 사랑하는 교회 성도 여러분 어, 이렇게 만나게 돼서 정말 너무나 반갑습니다. 어, 오은성, 오은성 목사님께 제가 지난 주에 저녁을 먹으면서 교회에 대해서 좀 들었는데요. 
들으면서 정말 좋은 행복한 교회라고 느꼈습니다 목사님이 너무 행복해 하시고 여러분들에 대해서 얘기하면서 또 교회에 대해서 얘기하면서요 오늘 제가 한국어와 영어로 이렇게 설교를 부탁받았는데 저도 이렇게 하는 게 처음입니다 한 설교 가지고 두 언어로 그래서 여러분께 좀 부탁을 드리고 싶은 것은 설교를 들면서 으 저를 위해서 기도해 주시고 <웃음> 특별히 제가 영어로 어, 말씀을 전할 때 여러분께서 들으신 말씀을 좀 묵상하시면서 들으시고 또이 어, 자리에 모, 함께한 모든 분들에게 하나님께서 오늘 필요한 우리가 깨달을 말씀 과 은혜를 주시기를 어, 기도해 주시기를 부탁드립니다 uh, I am so thankful and honored to be here with you this morning On behalf of our denomination representing 1,300 congregations across North America. Uh, and on behalf of Resonate Global Mission, I bring my warm greetings to you, and I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your partnership in the gospel and for your generous support uh, for the work of Resonate Global Mission, but also our denominational ministries together. Uh, I'll be switching back and forth, as you've already seen, and we've been doing this service. Uh, I'm going to ask you, please be patient with me and uh, to just uh, follow along. Uh, Pastor June said in the beginning, like confusion. Uh, pray that I won't get confused. <laughs> uh, this is like first time I'm doing this. i v e uh, you know, preaching one sermon, but in two languages. Um, I thought, you know, as, as I'm, when I speak in Korean, Uh, pray that God will speak to you even so during that time as you just maybe reflect uh, and pause and pray uh, what God might be saying to you and to all of us this morning. Uh, this morning I want to talk about joining God in your everyday life. And I'm going to do that by uh, using three keywords based on today's text. The first keyword is everyday life. Everyday life. The place or places where we live our everyday life is the mission field that God has sent us. Our everyday life is a place God has already sent us to a mission field, and that's what God has done. 오늘 일상과 성교적인 삶이라는 제목을 가지고 세 가지 핵심 키워드를 중심으로 말씀을 나누고자 합니다. 첫 번째 키워드는 일상. 이라는 단어입니다. 일상의 장소가 하나님이 우리를 보내신 선교의 현장입니다. 보내셨다는 말이 굉장히 중요한 말인데요. 오늘 본문 1절에 보면 예수님께서 70명을 세우셔서 친히 가려고 하는 모든 고울과 모든 곳으로 둘씩 앞서 보내시며 보내신다는 말이 거기 나오죠. 3절에 보면 가라 그런데 여기서 예수님이 친히 직접 가려고 하는 곳이란 말은 아, 그곳에 먼저 예수님이 제자들 보내셨잖아요 그 말은 예수님이 가고 싶어 하시는 곳이 있었다는 말이죠 Let's look at verse 1 The Bible says After this the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them that were sent Very important word, mission word, right? Missio, or being sent. They, Jesus sent them two by two ahead of him to every town and place what, where he was about to go. Then in verse 3 says, go. Uh, it's interesting to read that Jesus sent his disciples ahead of him to every town and place where he was about to go or where he was intending to go. That means there were places where Jesus himself wanted to go, right? And he's sending them ahead of him. If Jesus were here to visit here today in your church, I am convinced that Jesus would want to go and hang out where you live your everyday life. Jesus already sent you there. You're living there already, but if Jesus shows up here today, I think that's where Jesus wants to go. Your home, your neighborhood, your workplace, your school, your favorite restaurant, places where you shop, you exercise, where you have fun, vacation. That's where Jesus already 
has sent you. 만약 예수님께서 오늘 우리 교회 오신다면 저는 예수님께서 여러분이 살고 계신 그 일상의 장소에 가시고 싶어 하실 것 같아요. 여러분이 사시는 집, 여러분 사시는 동네, 직장, 학교, 자주 가는 식당, 아마 한국 식당이겠죠? <웃음> 내가 운동하는 것, 쇼핑하는 것, 휴가를 보내는 것. 거기가 바로 이미 앞서서 예수님께서 여러분들을 이 벤쿠버에 보내신 곳이라는 말씀입니다. 하나님께서 우리를 우리 모두의 일상으로 보내신 곳이 제가 말씀드린 대로 선교의 현장 하나님이 일하시는 곳이라면 질문이 있어요 그러면 거기서 우리가 뭘 하라고 보내신 걸까요? 두 번째 키워드는 성육신이라는 단어입니다 예수님이 보여주신 선교 모델은 성육신 사역입니다 성육신이란 말은 하나님께서 하늘에 계신 하나님께서 사람의 몸을 입고 이 땅에 오셔서 사람 가운데 사셨다라는 걸 설명하는 신학적인 개념입니다 If that's true, if God has sent you and me to the places where we live our everyday life as God's mission field, in other words, where God is at work The next question is this What does God want you to do, you and me to do there in our everyday places? In, uh, in verse 5 And seven, here are the clues of incarnation uh, in today's text. That's the second keyword, the incarnation. The model of mission Jesus showed us is the ministry of incarnation. And here are the clues in this text where incarnation shows up. Uh, in verse 5 and 7, uh, notice the action verbs that Jesus is giving instructions to this, uh, his disciples. When you enter... A house. Verse 7, stay there. That's an important word. I will come back to that. Stay there. Eat and drink whatever they give you. Do not move around from house to house. Jesus is instructing his disciples something that people do all the time, which is entering a house. You, we enter our home every day or others' home when we're invited. So enter a house, and if others welcome you, then what? Stay there. In other translations, it says remain, dwell. In other words, stay put, hang, hang out there. And, and what, what do you do when you're with people? Sit down have, and have a meal, eat and drink. So important, so fundamental, but so important uh, things, practices we do, sitting down and sharing a meal because when you sit down and have a meal or have coffee or tea with someone what do you do or have a, your favorite drink what do you do you talk you get to know one another well you, know, you get to know what's going on in each other's lives in other words build a relationship and as you do that if possible then become a friend of someone that is at the heart of this text in luke 10 오늘 본문 5절에 보면 어느 집에 들어가든지 7절에 보면 한 집에 머물러 있으라 이 머무르라는, 머무르라는 단어가 굉장히 중요해요 오늘 이 단어를 영어 성경에 보면 여러 가지로 번역이 됐어요 거주해라, 살아라, 남아있으라, 계속 머물러라, 체류해라 이런 말로 표현하는데 한마디로 정리하면 한 곳에 진득하게 머물러 있으란 말이에요 여러 군데 막 여기저기 사람들 만나고 다니지 말고 우리를 환영하는 그 사람에게 문을 열고 나를 환영하는 그 사람 그 가정에게 집중하고 관계를 쌓고 가능하면 친구가 되어라 아, 이웃들에게 가까이 다가가서 삶을 나누는 것 이것이 오늘 말씀의 성육신을 통해서 보여주시는 예수님의 모델입니다 오늘의 말씀은 주님이 여러분을 이미 보내신 곳 어디죠? 그곳 일상의 장소 거기서 거기가 어디든지 거기서 만나는 사람 그 이웃을 사랑해라 내 몸과 같이 그 사람을 사랑해라 그런 말씀이라고 생각할 수 있습니다 So for us today, this means re-entering or moving back into our neighborhoods 
What could that mean for you? To incarnate or to move into your neighborhood as Jesus, the God, has come into our neighborhood and lived among us. What would that mean? To know what that means for you, you have to answer these two questions first. The first question is the location question. Where is your neighborhood? It's beyond probably our, the block that we live in, but think about that question. Where is your neighborhood? And the second question is more important. Who is your neighbor? Do you know your neighborhood and do you know your neighbor today? That Jesus is saying to love as yourself? Uh, someone said a neighbor is someone, a person right under your nose. I love that definition. <laughs> that means anyone and everyone that I meet throughout the day and an encounter could be my neighbor. In this broad sense, who do you see every day? Your spouse, if you're married, your friends, your co-workers, employees, your boss, friends at school and church, random people that you meet, encounter in stores, or homeless person that you bump into on the street, or a visitor or stranger to your town, like Moses Chung today, could be your neighbor that Jesus is asking you to love as yourself. 그럼 여러분의 이웃이 과연 누구일까요? 여러분의 이웃. 여러분 이웃 아세요? 누가 여러분의 이웃이세요? 어떤 분은 이웃은 내 코앞에 있는 사람이다 라고 했는데 정말 좋은 정이라고 생각합니다. 그 말은 매일 일상에서 만나는 모든 사람은 좀 넓게 생각하면 내가 사랑할 내 이웃이 될수 있다는 말씀이죠. 이렇게 넓은 의미로 생각하면 여러분 매일 누구 보시죠? 결혼한 분들은 내 남편, 내 아내, 내 직장 동료, 또 학교나 교회 친구, 마켓에서 만나는 사람, 노숙자, 방문자, 오늘 이 정모세 목사도 여러분의 방문자니까 다 여러분의 이웃이 될수 있다는 거죠. 예수님이 내 몸과 같이 내 이웃을 사랑하라. 제일 큰 계명이잖아요. 하나님 사랑하고 내 이웃을 사랑하라. 바로 여러분의 또 우리의 사랑의 대상인 우리 모든 이웃은 바로 그분들이 바로 우리가 사랑할 우리의 대상 이웃이라는 거죠. 이웃을 사랑한다고 그럴 때 제가 최근에 하나 깨달은 게 있습니다. 뭐냐면 내 일상에서 내가 만나는 또 혹은 살고 있는 내가 함께 살고 있는 그 사람도 포함해서 그 사람 그 이웃을 정말 사랑하려면 먼저 그 사람과 그냥 함께 있는 것을 배워야 돼요. 함께 있는 것. 요새 그런 말 많이 하죠. Being, how doing. 그죠? 같이 있는 것. 그냥 뭘그 사람을 위해서 하고 해주는 게 아니고 그냥 같이 있는 것. 그래서 그걸 저는 함께하는 사역이라고 부릅니다. 함께하는 사역. Now here's something that I'm learning lately about loving neighbors. If I want to truly and really love my neighbor, including the person that I see every day or share the bed with. <laughs> Anybody that I encounter in my everyday life, I need to learn first this, how to be present with that person. Just be, being with that person, being present with my neighbor. And this is what I call a ministry of presence. Rather than doing something for or to my neighbors, just being with and among my neighbors as Jesus came and be dwelled among us. Uh, what Jesus is doing in this text with his disciples and how he's instructing his disciples to do is, in my mind, not an aggressive evangelism. You see that? Jesus seems to be inviting his disciples to go to their neighbors and just to be willing to enter into their lives and make yourself available. That's what Jesus is saying. And be present with them. So in that way, it's not an aggressive, like, in your face. If you believe this, you're going to go to heaven. If you don't, you're going to go to, like, somewhere else. <laughs> 
So if it's not an evangelism explosion or something like that, uh, what would this look like for us? It's something small, simple, and easy, and something close to what little children's kids do, like in a video that we're going to watch in a moment. As we watch the short video, it's just two, two and a half minutes. Uh, just, I want to ask you, like, what stand, what's one thing that stands out to you? Okay, one word or theme or something that you hear, watch. What's one thing that stands out? Because I'm going to ask you to share with somebody, okay? So we're going to watch that in a moment. I'll come back. Uh, so 이렇게 누가복음 10장에서 제자들에게 예수님이 요청하는 것은 뭐 대단한 일이 아니에요, 여러분. 대단하게 나가서 막 전도해라. 전도 프로그램을 돌려라 이런 게 아니에요. 제자들이 그들에게 이웃에게 다가가서 우리는 모두 이웃이 있잖아요. 그들의 삶으로 좀 들어가라 조금 더 깊이. 그리고 시간을 내라. 그리고 함께 있어줘라. 그렇게 대단한 전도 프로그램이, 프로그램이 아니면 뭘 하라는 거죠? 뭔가 작은 거. 내가 할수 있는 단순한 거, 쉬운 거를 어린 아이들도 할수 있는 일을 하라는 거예요. 이제 우리가 영상을 하나, 짧은 영상을 볼 텐데 보시면서 아, 한 가지, 어, 죄송하게 한글 자막은 없는데 영어 자막은 있어요. 그래서 보시면서 어떤 단어나 어떤 것이 좀 마음에 와닿는지 한번 생각해 보시기 바랍니다. 한번 그 다음에 우리가 좀 나누겠습니다. Okay, I think we're ready to roll the video. So let's watch this. Oh. Are you here with your parents or? Yeah, with my mom. Are you sure you're something? <laughs> no. It's kind of boring having a tea or coffee by yourself. You need somebody to talk to. Why are you wearing a hat? How much money do you have? Why is your hair white? It's a bit like the trees in autumn. You know, you could ask the tree, why are your leaves <laughs> brown? Do you mean in the bank or? Like your pocket money. 560 pounds a month pension. Wow. If you had that, what would you do? I would get a dog and get a house and a swimming pool and go on X Factor. Do you have Netflix? Nothing like that. I've just got a radio. We normally play bulldog. You still play bulldog? Yeah. I remember playing that. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a... <laughs> where are your friends and where they are? Um, right now. Some of my friends are abroad. I was born in Jamaica, so a lot of my friends are there, you know. I mean, I'm new in London. Well, I've had hundreds and thousands of friends. At the moment, I've got, got a lot of Facebook friends. Well, maybe I can sit with you and have some coffee. Yeah. You like coffee? Yeah. Do you? What's your favourite? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Why can't everybody be friends? <laughs> That's a good question. It's not as easy as that, really. I couldn't walk up to somebody in here and say, would you like to play with me? I'd be a bit strange. I think everyone should talk to everybody. That's the nicest thing I've heard all day. You've really made my day. Making friends is easier than eating chocolate. I think everyone in the world should have one big party and become friends. Wasn't that great? So this is what I'm going to ask you. That we don't usually do this, but we're going to do it. We're going to try. Uh, so uh, I'm going to ask you to pair up with one other person, maybe somebody sitting next to you. Um, if, maybe if, if there's, you know, you can be two or three. Um, and I'm going to give you one minute, so that's not a long time. Uh, you're going to share uh, what's one thing that stood out to you, maybe one word, something that you heard that, oh, huh. yeah, so just share that, okay? So you have 30 seconds to share. Uh, all right, let me explain this in Korean. I'll come back. Just think about it, all right? Uh, and or pair up. So, uh, pair up. So, uh, just find somebody, all right? I'm going to ask you, just 
우리가 그 옆에 있는 분하고 잠깐 한분 짝을 찾아서 한 가지만 나누겠습니다. 우리가 본거 1분 동안 30초 그러니까 30초 먼저 나누고 오케이. Okay? So the person with longer hair is going to go first. 오케이. Okay? Longer hair or more hair is going to go first. 오케이. Okay? So uh, 머리가 긴 분이 먼저 합니다. Just one minute. 오케이. Okay? When I say go, you're going to start talking for 30 seconds and then I'm going to switch you up. All right? So ready, set, go. All right, that's 30 seconds to switch to the other person. All right, keep talking. 30 more seconds. Okay. Okay, we're going to come back. You can talk more during coffee time, all right? <laughs> uh, 나중에 또더 얘기하시고, 잠깐만. Yeah. So I just want to hear uh, just a few of you. Just, just speak loud, call out. What, what did you hear your partner say or what did you say? Uh, what's one thing that really stood out that you can share? 우리가 그래서 몇 명만 좀 들어볼 텐데 한국 분들도 몇 분, 한 두세 분 정도 무슨 얘기 나누셨는지 좀 크게 말씀해 주시면 고맙겠습니다. So anyone? Questions. questions. Asking questions. Hello, or hi. hello. Just saying hello or hi. Good. Smile. Smile. Okay. Listen. Listen. Engage. Engage. How was your day? Asking questions again. Awkward, awkward, okay. All right, somebody ask uh, Pastor Andrew later what he meant by awkward. I, I think I know. 한국, 한국 분들 좀, uh, in Korean, uh, 한국 분들 좀몇 분, 어떤 거 나누셨어요? 아이들이니까. 아이들이니까. It's, it's possible because it's kid, you know, they're kids. 또, 한국 분 중에, 한두 분. 아침에 뭐 먹었냐고? What did you eat for breakfast? <웃음> 또 다른 분, 한분 더? 왜 you're talking and stopping someone that's going to they're going to just keep walking. <laughs> But when you're sitting down, good good point. Inhibitions. Yes. Yep, they're child. Yeah, children. Caring. Uh, making friends is easier than what? Eating chocolate? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. <laughs> She thinks so. <laughs> uh, huh? 저 친구 만드는 게 어, 초콜릿 만, 먹는 것보다 더 어, 초콜릿 먹는 게더 쉽다 그랬죠? 예? 친구 만드는 게. Uh, there's so much we can learn from little children all the time, right? And be like little children if you want to king, enter the kingdom of God, Jesus said, right? Uh, 정말 어린아이 같이 우리가 어, 배우는 게 너무 너무 중요하죠. So ministry of presence, making friends, uh, incarnation. That's what we're talking about. Uh, now there's one more thing uh, that's critical, uh, a critical missing link uh, if you want to connect God and your everyday life. Here's a third key word. Participate. God invites us to participate, join in, in what God is already doing in our everyday life. Participate in what God's doing already in the world. 한 가지 더 중요한 것이 있습니다. 하나님과 
여러분의 일상을 연결하려면 꼭 필요한 것은 오늘 세 번째 키워드입니다 동참이라는 단어입니다 성교적인 삶은 일상에서 이미 하고 계신 하나님의 일에 동참하는 것입니다 우리가 뭘에 동참해요? 하나님의 일에 그러면 하나님의 일이 뭔지 알아야죠 여러분 하나님의 일이 구체적으로 뭘까요? 저에게 그 질문을 하면 저는 한 가지 단어로 대답할 겁니다 그 단어는 회복이라는 단어입니다 회복 타락하고 깨어진 모든 만물을 하나님이 만드신 원래의 모습으로 회복하는 것이 하나님의 미션이에요 이것이 바로 우리가 항상 듣고 얘기하는 구원의 내용이 회복이에요 회복 구원받는다는 것은 우리를 우리의 영혼을 구원할 뿐만 아니라 우리의 삶과 우리의 인생과 우리의 온 만물을 구원하신다는 게 하나님의 구원의 내용이죠 오늘 본문 5절에 보면 예수님께서 이렇게 말씀합니다 어느 집에 들어가든지 먼저 이 집에 뭐가 있어요? 뭐가요? 말씀하셔도 돼요 뭐가요? 네. 평화 평화가 있기를 빕니다 하고 말하여라 여기서 말하는 평화는 샬롬이라는 샬롬 들어보셨죠? 샬롬 샬롬이라는 개념인데 이게 구약의 개념인데 모든 것이 제자리로 돌아가는 완벽한 조화가 있고 완전한 하모니가 있는 상태를 샬롬이라고 합니다 이것은 세상이 절대 줄수 없는 예수님만 주실 수 있는 것이죠 그 평화가 샬롬이라는 거예요 If I can summarize God's work or God's mission in one word I will choose this word Restoration Restoring everything to shalom God's mission is to restore all things that have fallen and broken back to the original state of goodness to the state of shalom wholeness, harmony and peace So in verse 5, Jesus instructs his disciples to say first what? What? That's right. Peace, shalom to this house. And that's significant because it's not the peace of Roman Empire that Caesar provides. It's a peace that only Jesus can bring to restore all things that are broken in this world. So here's a picture of what participating in God's work of re restoration in everyday life might look like. 제가 평생 살면서 가장 확실하게 하나님의 이 회복의 일, 샬롬으로 회복하는 일에 동참하고 경험했던 일상에서의 이야기를 여러분에게 소개해 드리고 싶습니다. 제가 2003년도에 미국의 캘리포니아에서 새로운 교회를 개척할 때였습니다 개척을 하면서 저희가 특별히 관심과 에너지를 쏟았던 부분은 우리에게 보내주시는 모든 분들 교회에 우리가 살고 있는 지역에 있는 우리 이웃을 정말 사랑하는 거예요 그게 제일 하나의 관심사였습니다 그래서 저희가 특별히 주일 예배뿐만이 아니라 주중에 기회가 되는 대로 모였어요 성경 공부도 하고 기도회도 하고 또 무엇보다 많이 같이 만나서 먹었어요 그리고 같이 뭐 커피나 티나 이런 것들을 마시면서 많은 시간을 쏟는데 에너지를 저희들이 많이 보냈습니다. 그러던 차에 어, 서, 예, 사진을 한번 보여 드려 보실래요? 이 청년이 어, 스티븐이란 23세의 백인 청년이 우리 교회를 방문했습니다. 아리, 아리주나 주, 아리 아리조나 주에서 이사를 왔어요. 근데 벌써 책을 두 권이나 쓴 아주 똑똑한 청년이었습니다. 어, 그리고 어, 이 스티븐과 우리 교회 성도들은 저도 아주 가깝게 빨리 가깝게 아, 치, 좋은 아, 친구가 되었습니다 First, I met this uh, guy, Stephen, on the picture uh, in 2003 when I was part of a, a church plant in Southern California Stephen was a 23-year-old um, He was a bright young guy He said he already wrote two books by that time And uh, he recently moved from Phoenix, Arizona. And he said he's interested in three things, raw food, coffee, and the Bible. And I said, I can work with that. <laughs> and we became really uh, close friends very quickly because not only we met together in worship on the weekends, but we hung out together, sharing meals with one another, sharing a lot of coffee, and uh, sharing each other's stories. And we entered into each other's stories in life. 
After about three months, uh, Stephen suddenly disappeared. He was missing in action. Uh, when he called me two weeks later, uh, when I sat down with him, uh, he told me about his addiction to illegal drugs. Uh, he said he's been using drugs since he was 13 for the last 10 years and never was able to stay sober for three months. Uh, he thought he was going to die the night before, um, but some, somehow he got up the next morning and he managed to reach me. Uh, when I heard this, I was shocked. I didn't have a clue that this was going on because they are so good at hiding too, right? I learned that later. Uh, and I didn't know what to do, what to say. I said to him, I don't know. I want to help you, but I don't know what to do. Uh, as we were praying together, one thought came to mind. And I asked him, hey, Stephen, can we meet every day? And he said, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to do. But he said, yeah, I'll try. And then so we met from that day on for the next 100 days, every single day. Uh, 그러던 어느 날 스티븐이 갑자기 사라졌어요. 그래서 어, 두주 있다가 저한테 저, 연락, 연락이 와서 다시 만났는데 그때 저에게 얘기를 해줬어요. 어떤 일이 있었는지 지난 두주 동안 마약 딜러의 집에서 살고 있었대요. 마약을 하면서 매일 어, 지난 밤에는 고, 마약을 과용해서 이제 내가 이렇게 죽는구나 하고 그렇게 마약을 하면서 죽어가고 있었는데 그 다음 날 아침에 눈을 뜬 거예요. 그래서 저에게 전화를 했습니다. 자신은 13살 때부터 지난 10년간 마약을 했는데 중독을 끊으려고 여러 번 노력했는데 3개월 이상을 넘기지 못하고 다시 마약에 빠졌다는 이야기를 저에게 해줬습니다. 제가 그 얘기를 듣고 쇼크를 먹었어요. 전혀 몰랐어요. 그 스티븐이 마약을 하고 있었는지 마약 중독자인지 그래서 어떻게 무슨 말을 해야 될지 전혀 알 수가 없었는데 그래서 그냥 손잡고 같이 눈물로 기도를 했어요. 기도하는 중에 딱 떠오른 한 가지 생각이 있어서 제가 물어봤어요. 기도를 마치고 야 우리 매일 만나자. 그랬더니 제가 뭘 매일 만나서 할지는 생각이 없었, 없었지만 만나자 그랬더니 자기가 한번 해보겠다고 그래서 그날부터 저희가 100일 동안 제가 스티븐과 매일 만났습니다. So a lot of things happened during those 100 days and I don't have the time to tell you all of what happened but here are a few things that I can share. Number one Stephen decided to go public with his struggle and sickness with our church community. So he stood up like this in front of church and shared, and I said, he said, I need your prayer. Second, as he did that, four other people, actually family, said, we'll do whatever Pastor Moses and Une are doing. So they said, we'll do whatever it takes to help him out. And so there was someone available to Stephen, where he could call and be with, be present with whenever he needed somebody and help, even if that meant 2 a.m. in the morning. 그 100일 동안 몇 가지 놀라운 일이 일어났는데요. 첫 번째로 스티븐이 교회 전체 앞에서 본인의 마약 문제에 대해서 고백을 했어요. 그리고 기도를 부탁했습니다. 그랬더니 두 번째로 우리 교회에 있는 내 가정이 우리도 뭐든지 돕겠다 하고 나선 거예요. 저하고 제 와이프하고 같이. 그래서 저희까지 다섯 가정이 스티븐의 정말 가까운 이웃이 되고 친구가 되고 가족이 되어서 함께 시간을 보내고 언제든지 필요하면 새벽 2시라도 달려가는 그런 환경이 만들어졌습니다. And then a miraculous thing happened. After about three months, Stephen once again felt those symptoms of withdrawal. He could not take it, he said. He said, I would rather die and do this and die. So, he went back to the drug dealer's house in one evening. None of us knew that. He felt so shamed, but he did it anyway. So he went back. The light was on, the door was open, he knew the people were inside. So he rang the bell, rang the bell again, nobody came out, rang the bell again, and he's standing there. Then he heard a loud voice inside that said, turn around and run. <laughs> That was the Holy Spirit speaking to him. And he did. That was a turning point for all of this. So after that, um, he was able to stay sober for the whole year. 그러다 세 번째 기적적인 사건이 일어났어요. 마약을 끊은 지석 달을 넘길 즈음에 과거와 같이 너무 
견딜 수가 없는 금단 현상이 와서 어, 다시 스티븐이 그 마약 딜러의 집으로 갔어요 가서 어, 초인종을 눌렀어요 밤이었는데 아무도 안 나오는 거예요 불도 켜 있고 사람도 있고 문도 좀 열려 있었는데 아무도 안 나오는 거예요 그래서 서 있는데 갑자기 어, 어떤 소리가 들리더래요 무슨 소, 목소리냐면 Turn around and run 돌이켜서 도망가라 어, 성령님께서 말씀하신 거죠 그래서 그렇게 했어요 그래서 그 이후로 그게 터닝 포인트가 되어서 그 일을 마지막으로 스티븐은 1년 동안 손을 마약에 대지 않고 견딜 수 있었습니다. So after being for sober for a year, Stephen asked me if we can do a potluck with people who helped him out, right? The whole year. So yeah, that's a great idea. Let's get together. So we did a potluck together. I will never forget the moment after the meal when Stephen got up Tears streaming down, he said, this is like my first birthday all over again. Because I knew I was a dead person a year ago. It's a miracle that I'm still here drug-free. I never thought this day will come in my life. I never thought this would be possible. And this happened because of God's power and God's grace, the Holy Spirit working in my life. And it happened because of all of your sacrificing love for me. You know, we all cried and we all praised God together. 마이크를 끊은 지 1주년이 되는 날, 스티븐을 돕던 가, 다섯 가정과 우리가 같이 파티를 했습니다. 그날 식사 후에 스티븐이 일어나서 한 말을 저는 평생 잊을 수가 없습니다. 스티븐이 뭐라고 했냐면요. 오늘이 제한살 생일 같아요. 이제 내가 이렇게 죽는구나 하고 죽어가던 그때가 정확히 1년 전이었는데 오늘까지 마약에 제가 손을 대지 않은 정말 기적이 일어났습니다. 저는 이런 날이 올줄 꿈에도 상상을 못했습니다. 오늘 이런 날이 있게 해주신 하나님께 하나님의 그 능력에 영광을 돌리고 또 여러분 저를 이렇게 사랑해 주신 나와 함께 해주신 여러분 친구들께 너무 감사합니다. 정말 우리가 다 눈물을 흘리고 하나님을 찬양을 했습니다 근데 그게 끝이 아닙니다 그 이후로 스티븐이 캘리포니아 주립대학을 졸업하고 크리스찬 자매를 만나서 결혼을 하고 이렇게 아이들도 넷이나 낳고 스타벅스의 지역 매니저가 되었습니다 할렐루야! 아멘 하시죠 할렐루야! 아멘 네, 그렇죠 진짜 할렐루야 할 일이에요 I'm happy to report to you that Stephen is still drug free today Married to a wonderful Christian lady and four beautiful children. Two more than me. <laughs> and he finished college and he became a district manager at Starbucks. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> yeah, this next picture is the uh, 10 year anniversary. I was living in Michigan at that time. He called me up about a few weeks ago, you know, before that and said, Pastor Moses, I know you can't come, but we're going to celebrate 10-year anniversary because they are counting every single day, every day. I learned that from Stephen. And I said, no, I want to be there. <laughs> so I flew and then I celebrate with him. And this next picture, uh, 지금 지난 10년, 어, 저 아까 잠깐만요, 그이 10주년 어, 기념 때 찍은 캘리포니아 찍은 사진이고요. 그 다음 다음 사진은 어, 요번 여름에 콜로라도로 이사를 갔는데 거기에서 그 가족과 함께 찍은 사진이에요. 올해가 20주년 마약 끊은 지 20주년이 되는 해라고 합니다. This is my recent picture this summer, past summer in Colorado. They just moved recently to Colorado, and I happened to be uh, passing through uh, and slept over at their place, and we celebrated, you know, God's work. And I know Stephen and Anna, uh, his wife tells me every year anniversary day, he sits down with four of his children and tells this story every time, every year. And Pastor Moses, so they know who Pastor Moses is in the story. Um, and this year, uh, Anna told me, is going to be 20th anniversary of being sober. You can, as you can imagine, uh, Stephen became a lifelong friend of mine. And now every time I see him and his beautiful family, It is a clear testimony and demonstration of God's power and God's kingdom on earth at work. 
When the church be the church and join God and God's mission in everyday life through our presence and friendship. Uh, 여러분, Steven은 이제 저의 평생 친구가 됐고요. 제가 스티븐과 그 아름다운 가족을 볼 때마다 저는 너무 큰 은혜를 받습니다. 저 얼마나 큰 감동과 격려를 주는지 몰라요. 평범한 저희들이, 여러분과 저 같은 우리 평범한 우리가 우리의 일상에서 하나님께서 보여주신 그 이웃을 사랑하고 하나님이 하시는 일에 동참할 때 교회가 그거예요. 교회가 진정 교회가 될때 함께 있어줄 때 우리는 하나님의 능력과 하나님의 기적을 체험할 수 있습니다 그리고 하나님의 나라가 이 땅에 어떻게 임하는지를 볼수 있습니다 이 스티븐의 간증은 저의 평생에 하나님의 능력이 하나님의 회복이 샬롬이 어떤지를 알려주는 간증이 되었습니다 사랑하는 성도 여러분 나의 사랑하는 교회가 여러분의 매일의 일상에서 여러분의 공동체 가운데서 이 하나님의 회복의 일에 동참하셔서 하나님의 나라가 이 땅에 가까이 온 것을 모든 여러분의 이웃들에게 강력하게 선포하고 증거하는 그러한 증인 공동체 그런 멋진 교회가 되시기를 주님의 이름으로 축원합니다 Dear friends of Jesus Christ, when the church joins God's work, behaves and works like the church, There is nothing, there is nothing like it on the whole planet. So we can truly say to our neighbors, all of our neighbors, the kingdom of God has come near to you. God's kingdom is right at your doorstep. Let us pray. 하나님 주의 나라가 우리의 삶 가운데 우리의 가정 가운데 우리 교회 가운데 우리 이민사회 이 벤쿠버에 이 캐나다에 한국 땅에 이온 세상에 임하시기를 기도합니다. Lord we pray this morning that your kingdom of shalom, peace, justice, reconciliation and love and grace would come to our lives, our everyday life. to our families, to our church, to this community, this local community in Vancouver, in Canada, in Korea, in all nations. 하나님 이 모든 곳에 하나님의 회복을 주시고 평화를 주시고 힐링을 주시고 구원을 주옵소서. Lord, we need your peace today. We need your restoration We need your healing power. We need your salvation. Lord, come. 우리가 모두가 구체적으로 이웃을 사랑하고 하나님의 미션에 동참하는 인생이 되게 하여 주옵소서. Lord God, we pray today that you will make every single one of us a participant in your mission to restore all things and to all of our neighbors as ourselves. And we'll give you all the glory. And we pray all these things In Jesus' name. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen.